Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love and what can you expect in the near future. We're also going to look at the person that you might be dealing with. What are they thinking or feeling about you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And remember that energy is fluid, so feel free to flip the energies if they resonate. Okay, for Virgo, Spirit Angels, guys, what messages do you have for Virgo regarding love? What do they need to know about the energies regarding love at this time for Virgo? What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, two nines, and the Page of Pentacles. Well, this is interesting because this particular deck, um, one gripe that I have uh, about this deck is that the Nine of Pentacles in this deck looks like the Eight of Cups, as you can see. It looks like she is walking away from these stones, which, you know, it's not... The typical um, imagery that you get with the Nine of Pentacles. Typically, it's a it's a woman that's uh, very beautifully dressed and by herself. And um, the traditional meanings are that this is someone that's doing very well for themselves, has worked very hard, is enjoying the fruits of their labor, and looks great. So, regarding you know that whole meaning and the way that this card looks, I always get a bit of like a mixed up energy when I look at it because I'm like this looks like someone's walking away we'll clarify and see what all of this is about the page of pentacles tells me that there's some sort of new opportunity that could be happening for you here regarding um, love or an offer or promise made something like that that's beginning uh, the page of pentacles is the person that asks you out on a date with the intention to take it further than just a date um, but the Nine of Wands is here, and the Nine of Wands is a card about being through a lot, having experienced some difficulty in your life, and so that's had an effect on you. You are the wounded soldier. You have a guard up. You are wounded but not beaten, and um, you tend to have kind of a, a barrier between you and other people just to protect yourself so when i see all of these energies together i think that if there is some sort of offer coming your way if someone's admiring you from afar if you're doing very well for yourself and you've caught someone's eye i think you still are a bit guarded against whatever this is but of course we'll see more um, the more that we clarify bottom of the deck is the seven of cups so this is a card about um, making the right choice, evaluating all of your options, seeing things for what they truly are and not what you want them to be and um, choosing based off of that. So I feel like some of you might have more than one option being presented to you um, or maybe you just have to make an important choice when this page of pentacles does show up. Let's get some more insight. Can we get some more insight on the energies for Virgo? Let me get some insights, please, on the energies for Virgo regarding love. What do we need to know for Virgo regarding love? Okay. Taking action. Time to make a move. Patiently waiting. So these are kind of opposite energies. Taking action, patiently waiting. Unless you're waiting for someone to take action and they finally are about to. What else do you need to know? Paralyzing fear. Okay, so maybe someone's fearful and lasting promise. The connection will stand the test of time. Um, second chances at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Um, so again, I get the sense that um, maybe this is someone that wants more than just a date or just wants something. I mean, it, how do I say it? They want more than just to have a short term connection. However, I feel like this is someone that goes back and forth, this energy, because I have taking action, but then patiently waiting, but then paralyzing fear. So it's almost like a little bit of everything here. There's hesitation, doubts, perhaps, 
on you know taking action here and I don't know if it's because one of you is already in a commitment with lasting promise or if this is a big step for someone and so it's not so easy for them to just take this action okay so let's get some clarity down here why the nine of wands for Virgo why is the nine of wands here for Virgo the high priestess why is the nine of wands here and the knight of wands so i definitely feel like some something's coming your way virgo and perhaps you're going to need to use your intuition to figure out what you're going to do about it four of cups yeah i feel like some of you i don't know it's almost like your intuition is going to help you decide if you want to move forward tell me about the knight um knight of wands what do we need to know about this knight of wands Three of Wands, yeah. Once again, this Knight of Wands and Three of Wands is just taking action with patiently waiting. It's like someone's hesitating. And this could be you that's hesitating or the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with. It's almost like they wanna take action, but they're like forced to wait. I get one more for this Knight of Wands. Why is the nine of wands here? The world, yeah. So a cycle coming to a close, a cycle beginning. It's not so easy here. Yeah, there's the chariot, cancer energy. So this is about moving forward, but someone's hesitating. That's really the energy that I'm getting here that's showing up strongly. It's like someone's willing, like one, and this could be that you feel this way, you might wanna take action, and the other person's like, I'm not ready, or vice versa. So tell me about the nine of stones. This is typically a card about independence, security. Why is the nine of stones here? But it looks like she's walking away in this deck. Why is the nine of stones here for Virgo? The star, Aquarius energy, healing, faith, hope for renewal. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. This could be someone that's, yeah, that has healed the magician. manifesting a wish manifesting hope or whatever thing that they're hoping or or having faith in they're also manifesting bottom of the deck the hermit there you are virgo this could be you tell me more about this nine of pentacles why is the nine of pentacles here ten of wands okay again i feel like a barrier like a like like a weight and then there's a tower the bottom of the deck so something must have happened to, to make you, I don't know, it, it, it's like you might want something, you might have been healing, or you might have hope or faith in something happening and making something happen. But I also feel like whoever wants to make this happen, whether it's you or this other person, you're also weighed down by responsibilities. Um, you could be weighed down by fear. You could be weighed down by just uncertainty, right? Like you're like, you're not sure, so you don't wanna jump in. Maybe you've been through a tower moment. Yeah, the tower judgment. These are very powerful energies here. The two of cups after that. So it could have been a tower moment in a connection. Um, it could have been a tower moment where you realized something. There was a sudden realization or revelation uh, regarding a partnership. And I feel like that has affected you or the way that you see a connection. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Some of you have been through a breakup recently and you've been picking yourself yourself up from that, but there's still some things to address about that um, departure or that ending. If any of this is resonating, Virgo, um, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Page of Pentacles? We have the Knight of Swords. Oh yeah, so someone's definitely bringing you this offer three of cups maybe they want to reunite come together meet up to talk about this tell me about the page of pentacles tell me about the page of pentacles i got more than eight of pentacles and the eight of wands yeah i feel like someone wants to talk about something that's going to take work that's going to take effort it's going to take time to develop but it's going to start small with the page of pentacles um 
I think that some of you, this could be somebody coming in wanting a second chance. Others of you, they just want to talk about the future or working on your connection. Um, bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is someone's end goal. But I, I, I sense that there's hesitation, doubts, fears here. And I don't know on whose side it is. It's maybe both of you that are feeling this way. But there's a burden here. Eight, uh, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands from a past situation that's affecting this connection now in the present. And we have some very powerful energies here. The Magician, the World, um, the Star. These are, to me, not just because they're major arcanas, but because they, they are very significant energies for me as a reader because um, they just mean so much or they they tell you a lot in a reading, especially the world. Um, it's all about closing cycles and, and starting new ones. The magician is when you manifest and make something happen and do whatever it takes to make something happen. And the star is all about hope, um, having faith that everything will work out, having a wish uh, that you, you know, some sort of desire, um, having, you know, healing, self care, healing. Um, so, you know, I feel like all of these things are possible. The world, the star, the magician. But it's other things that are kind of getting in the way here. Can you tell me more for Virgo regarding love and the energy surrounding love at this time? What do we need to know for Virgo? What do we need to know for Virgo? What do we need to know for Virgo? This one. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. From your usual type and expectations um i'm also getting that some of you um the message i'm getting with this card is that whatever needs to be resolved it does not have to be resolved in the way that you think honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together um again i, I get the sense with this card i'm getting an energy of being on a journey um it's not you're not there yet there's still more to go more to do you're the, you're at the beginning stages of something um and it doesn't it's probably not going to end up the way that you think with keep an open mind there might be more to it that you're just not aware of right now more that you have to just think about um, a different angle a different approach to the problem um because i feel like someone's hesitating and they might be hesitating because they're only thinking about something in one way can I get some insight into this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with? Can I get some insight, please, into the energies of this other person? I made a mistake. What else do we need to know about this person? I really screwed up. Okay, so there's a lot of remorse, regrets here. What else do we need to know about this person's uh, energies towards... Virgo, I would take it all back if I could. Very clear energy. Um, I feel trapped at the bottom of the deck, trapped in someone's, um, like the consequences of their choices, or perhaps they're just feeling trapped in their situation. I think what's happening here is that you've been dealing with someone that might have hurt you in the past. And that's a problem because it's affecting the situation now. Whatever history you have with someone, it's affecting the situation now and the future outcome of it as well. I feel like someone wants to start slow and build up, but how do you even start? It, mm, it's not gonna be easy. Like I sense a lot of like tension between you and this person. Can we get some insight into this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know, Spirit? Wow, Two of Cups. So this could be somebody that feels like they are your soulmate. Actually, let me move these to the side so that you can see this better. Five of Wands, Four of Cups. Yeah, 
So this person, um, they're thinking about the problem. There is a connection here between you and this person, two of cups, and maybe they might even feel like you are the one for them. Like, you're, yeah, three of pentacles, they need to, like, they want to work on things, and that's probably why second chances showed up. This person might be paralyzed by fear of, like, coming forward because of the mistakes they've made in the past. And when it comes to you, you know, like, you have to decide if you even want to deal with this, Virgo, or if you're just ready to move on. Because there's some sort of conflict drama here. Huh. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is where the fear comes from. Because someone, um, there's, there's an existing problem. Ace of Wands. How do you start? Once again, what the fear is in starting something. How do you begin? Bottom of the deck, the moon, Pisces energy. Could be that someone has doubts, fears, anxieties over being able to fix this. Because I really feel like this person is worried that they will not be able to fix this. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Ah, tell me about the Four of Cups. Six of Cups. Yeah, the past is an issue here. Um, your person's wondering if you're going to be open to this idea of, um, I guess, this Ace of Wands being together. Seven of Cups. Yeah. Will your... You, because they, this person, I feel they already know that whenever it... When, when it comes time to accept an offer, Ace of Pentacles, by the way, is at the bottom of the deck. When it comes time to accept this offer or accept communication from this person... You, you can't help but think about the past. The past is going to hold some weight in the decision that you make, Virgo. And for some reason, this person's very nervous about that. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo, there you are again. Tell me about the Two of Cups. There's distance between you. Maybe you've distanced yourself from this person or vice versa. Strength, Leo energy, and then the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. I think that in your mind, there's a lot to address. Yeah, there's judgment, the hangman. It's really hard for you to see things from a different perspective, possibly because you were hurt, possibly because there's a personal aspect to this, like you have a personal reaction or, or something like that. It's, it's, it's almost like it's really hard for you to be objective because your your emotions in this instance i feel for you to give this person a second chance you would have to change your perspective number one and number two you would want to take things very slow and if that's not how you're feeling if you're sitting there saying i don't think that way well this person thinks that you think that way because this is this is their energy here it's almost like they're viewing you in this regard so it's almost like well when i talk to virgo the four of cups virgo is not going to be interested when i talk to virgo virgo is only going to think about the past and and that's going to hurt me because they're not going to choose me because of it i hope this is making sense so let's get some insight into where all of this could be headed between you and this person Where is this headed in the near future for Virgo and this other person? Where is this headed? In the near future spirit. What can Virgo expect in the near future? What can Virgo expect in the near future spirit? Ace of Cups, wow, a new beginning in love, Three of Pentacles, working together, working as a team, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like someone's going to um, confess their love to you or express their love um, and their desire to work on things together. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They're thinking of um, hopefully victory with you, success with you in the future. Okay, they want me to clarify this Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this Three of Pentacles for Virgo? Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person really wants to work on things, but they have doubts. 
they I feel also like they're hesitating like they really want to be a queen of wands but there's their doubt their fear makes them a seven of pentacles someone that's anxious about the future that's worried about the outcome yeah four of swords at the bottom of the deck so I feel like this is someone that's not really doing anything right now they're thinking they're reflecting um, I feel like they want to heal this but it's not up to them it's kind of what I'm getting here they're gonna they're gonna come to you with an offer but I feel like first they're gonna talk to you page of swords first is to talk to you to get a response from you a reaction tell me about this page of swords what do we need to know spirit what's this page of swords about the hangman I think they want you to see things from a different perspective. I think they want to change your mind, but not in a manipulative way here. Yeah, five of pentacles. I think that they feel like, there's a page of wands. They can't do this unless you change your mind about something. They can't have success unless you change your mind about something. That's what they're thinking here. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? What else do we need to know about this person's energy for Virgo? I have kept my feelings buried deep and I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Yeah, again, regrets here. Regrets over like how they should have handled something, what they should have said, how honest they should have been with you. Um, For whatever reason, this person maybe feels that they've waited too long. I don't have the courage to face you at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because of fear. Whoever this is, Virgo, they're scared. They're fearful. Any guidance for Virgo? This is from my Stellar Guidance Oracle deck. By the way, if you want to know anything about the decks that I use, these are all my decks. Well, except for the Romance Angels. <laughs> Um, they're all linked on my website, or you can get more info there. My website's linked in the description box. Any advice, messages, please, for Virgo. Listen to your heart and have faith. Beautiful. Listen to your heart, exactly. That's what I was picking up in the beginning. It's almost like you, you're going to need to listen to your intuition to decide what to do. And bottom of the deck, keep an open mind. Again, with the keep an open mind. We got it twice. It's like spirit wants you to keep an open mind about something. Because maybe a new perspective is needed. Or maybe you need to just hear this person out. Or at least understand what exactly happened or why things happened. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to forgive them and take them back or forget everything they've done. Um, but I feel like it would help you as well in some way. Like maybe by understanding things from a different perspective, it won't weigh on you as much so that you can move forward, right? Whether it's with this person or away from this person. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it resonated for you. And if it did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment if you feel comfortable sharing. I love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. It helps me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.